The most important element in building a business based on referrals and personal introductions is having the referral mindset, the thinking, the beliefs necessary. Because if you don't have the right beliefs in place and the right awareness in place, you could be sitting on an opportunity to get introduced, but you won't go there because your beliefs and your mindset is, is not set right. So let's cover a few of those. First of all, have you made a decision to build a business based on how people want to meet you? How would someone prefer to meet you and the work you do? Through a recommendation from someone else they already trust, right? Referrals are borrowed trust. We leverage the trust in one relationship long enough to earn our own trust in that new relationship. Doesn't it make sense to make a decision to build a business based on how people want to meet us? Now maybe if you're brand new in this business, you have, to, you have to take some leads, you have to take some orphan accounts. No question about that. You need some activity, etc. But eventually, you want to get away from le leads or a, me a, a recipe for mediocrity in this business. And most of the successful folks in this business are self-generating and they're mostly doing it through referrals and, and personal introductions. So first of all, is making that decision to do that. Second of all, do you believe approaching clients for referrals is safe or risky? Most people believe that asking for referrals is risky. In fact, there's a lot of gurus out there saying you shouldn't ask clients for referrals anymore. Well, all I can say to that is hogwash. We know it works. I've been teaching this for a long time. It works with wealthy. It works with high net worth. It works with middle income. Every ladder, economic ladder, this process of asking works if you do it in the right way. And it's got to be a client-centered approach. But if you believe that asking is risky, that's a limiting belief, isn't it? You could be sitting in front of a, a client who's talking about their friend or their sister or brother, right? You could probably be great service to them, but you believe it's risky, you don't do anything. You just kind of let it go. Limiting belief. So what we need to do is flip that switch and so you realize it can be safe to approach people if you do it in the right way. And now all of a sudden you see things you didn't see before. I can't tell you how many folks who you know, read my book or been through my boot camp or whatever, where it's just that shift in awareness where now they see the leverageable moment that they didn't see before because now they realize it's a safe thing to do. Having a process. Most people don't have a process or if they were taught a process, it's kind of old school or they don't really like it. Having a process is like playing pool. If you play pool, you know what I'm talking about. You get the cue ball, the four ball, the side pocket. I'm aiming the cue ball to hit the ball, four ball in the side pocket trying to make the shot. But there's a parallel activity going on, isn't there? I'm thinking, where am I going to leave that cue ball to position, hit the seven uh, ball in the corner pocket, right? One shot leads to the next. That needs to be our attitude towards client acquisition. We need to bring a prospect into our world. We teach, we educate, we do all the good things. We make the shot. We turn them into a client if it's a win-win. And that's good. That counts. But if we don't have a process in place to leverage that, where is the next client going to come from? Wishing and hoping, not a good plan. What I try to do is give, give folks who have that referral wishbone a referral backbone so they actually put a process in place to make that happen. And then one client leads to two and two clients lead to four and your business grows exponentially when you work from personal introduction. So that's part of a mindset. Finish this phrase, as you give, you receive. One of the best ways to start getting referrals is to be giving referrals. And a lot of folks are resistant around giving referrals. A lot of financial professionals don't like to give referrals. And there's a disconnect there, right? If you want to create a culture where your clients are willing to take that little bit of a risk and make some connections for you, how are you going to make that happen if you're not willing to make connections for others? So giving referrals is a huge part of the mindset and paying attention to that dynamic of giving. And the last one I'll cover is, is a simple one. And when I'm doing a live presentation, a training session, or a speech, I'll always say to the group, I blank to get referrals. Fill it out for me. I blank to get referrals. Everybody else loved to get referrals, right? And then some wise guy says, you know, I beg to get referrals. And I go, no, 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 this is a no begging zone. And sometimes someone was paying attention and they say, I give to get referrals. I go, that's good. Let's try this one on for size. I forget to get referrals. And then I get a lot of guilty laughter on that one, right? Because people say they forget to get referrals. I've got some strategies well, you'll never forget again. But then I say to the group, I expect to get referrals, an attitude of expectation. Would you agree that going into any situation expecting a certain outcome increases the chances of that outcome happening? Of course it does. It doesn't guarantee it, but it increases the chances because you come to that situation with confident awareness. You're confident in the work you do. You know you help individuals, businesses, families. 
And then you become aware of all the connections in people's lives. And you've made a decision to build a business based on how people want to meet you. And so all of these things feed together to create that awareness of other connections where you can at some point in time suggest that maybe you can help those folks as well. Now, I do not recommend that you say to a client, I expect you to give me referrals. That's kind of that old, over-aggressive methodology that just really has no place anymore. But it's a mindset. It's what we bring to the table. Athlete, athletes visualize, expect to perform well. Musicians visualize, expect to perform well. I think we, as professional sales folks, professional financial folks, need to expect a certain result and come with that confidence. And that's a referral mindset.